are conducting their weekly Oka Malau crime busting operation in Centurion this time. Roadblocks are being conducted and police will be raiding places of interest. Let's uh, get uh, some more on what's happening then. Ngobile Madlala is out there with them uh, this morning. Ngobile, very good morning to you. And uh, what are they looking for this time? Good morning, um, Yveka. Yes, we have seen some arrests happening. We know that we saw some hijacked buildings, I mean hijacked cars. We heard from the commissioner that already they had even found people that were undocumented on, 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 on when, when they spoke to them and they looked for, for their documents, then they found that they were undocumented as well as cars that are suspected to have been stolen. But right now we are at a place where it seems the flats have been hijacked as you can see there Yuveka we've got the MEC um, Ma Faith Mazibu go to speak to us with regards to the these hijacked buildings we know at this point from what we have seen that these buildings do not have any electricity they do not have any water as well as they seem to have been occupied before time MEC perhaps give us an understanding as to what's going on here no, in fact, uh, this is a project that was uh, being built by Department of uh, Human Settlement. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the contractors that were working here could not complete their work. As you can see, majority of these uh, buildings, they've been hijacked. And uh, it is alleged some of them, the hijacked are in Kabi Konalana. So uh, when talking to the contractor, the contractor did manage uh, to get a court order uh, but uh, it's the issue of implementing that court order and ensuring that they actually come and complete because the contractor can't come on site uh, because now all these uh, units have been occupied by people and most of them don't have water, don't have electricity, give uh, a in short. So that is uh, what we are encountering uh, in this era. It has been a problem since January. Uh, that is why you see most of them, they're incomplete and some of them don't even have windows. I would imagine they're not safe also to be living on MEC. Indeed, indeed, uh, uh, because the municipality and the Department of Human Settlement at provincial level, it works according to the list of who are the beneficiaries. So majority are not even on that beneficiary list. They just saw how a uh, house is being uh, uh, allocated. They decided to come in and I check. And when you talk to some of them, others, I mean, really, where is the waiting list? Because as Gauteng province, we do have a, 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 they call it a demand database that indicates who has applied for a house, who is a beneficiary, and all those things. But then people just woke up one morning because they see those other uh, 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 buildings that have been handed over to the municipality. They decided, no, 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 and it's a challenge because some of them are even raising children. Uh, there's no ablution facility, there's no water, there's literally nothing in this. Which you appreciate, but you have illegally occupied. So the implementation of that court order is what is important. And so the Department of Human Settlement is the one that is supposed to get uh, uh, moving on that uh, court order in, ensure, in ensuring that these, uh, these buildings get completed. Next thing, one day they'll wake up and block the roads and demand service delivered. When in actual fact they've occupied houses that were incomplete. Seeing that you are here today, what is the way forward then, MEC? Now we'll engage the Department of Human Settlement and the contractors to establish exactly where are they in relation to making sure that this becomes a safer environment for women and also for children. And that lawful people that are on the demand database are actually uh, being allocated these houses properly. So we must, you know, our communities must refrain from hijacking uh, buildings. Because you stay in a house, you don't have a tight deed, umunduje. You must be lawfully be given a property so that then you also become a proper, you, a proper title deed and you are the rightful owner. Yes, to come when God has remembered you, your children must not be evicted in that house because you had not valid papers. But it is important that people follow two processes so that they're able to get their title deeds and be allocated properly. And let's have a peaceful and happy community. We're building communities here. So we need these communities. We don't want incomplete things like these that are also dangerous. Trying to establish exactly what it is that is happening. That's what we require. Nothing as lawlessness must not be the order of the day. Lastly, MEC, do we see a lot of these issues in, 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 in operations with regards to hijack building? Yeah, even in the city centre, 
you go to Johannesburg, you go to where? There's lots of these buildings that have been hijacked that are not, are not even known who are the owners, but they're being uh, owned. And our people, they also go in there, rent, they live in squalid uh, conditions. Sometimes there's no water, there's no... Lifts are not working. And this is what generates lawlessness because even the alleys become dark. However, there's no electricity. So ordinarily, you are also not safe staying in that place because you'll never know what will happen to you once you are asleep at night. Thank you very much, MEC. Well, Yveka, you've heard there from the MEC just explaining to us that these buildings here were occupied not on time that they were supposed to be occupied by and also saying that some of the people that are here are not on the demand database, which is meant to be going to some of the families that may need this the most. Just talking about safety in general as well with regards to the fact that there's no water, there's no power. So at night, this place might seem to be very dark. But we have seen some of the cables going through to the houses in here so it remains to be questioned as to where exactly that power comes from. All right thanks very much Mobile Medlala they're out with the